hello guys welcome to PC tricks on channel and today in this video I'm gonna show you how to remove FRP on Z3 2016 okay so I'll be showing you how to remove FRP on these three models of Z3 16 Z320 a which is for AT&T Z320 P for screen version mobile and boost mobile and Z320 M this card this is not from any courier okay so for this you will need some tools download them from the download them from the link in given in the description tools you will need, you will need Odin which is Samsung flashing tool then FRP tool which we will use to remove FRP and then input file for your device for your model which you download according to your model okay now i have got all the files here <laughs> this is odin this is frp tool and these three as input file for th these three models you should have at and j320 uh, j316 then download this one if you got <coughs> sprint then download this one and if you got j320m download this okay so now let's start first of all we'll need to flash the one of this file to your device so that uh, your adb will be enabled after flashing this to do so first of all run odin okay now after running odin put your device into download mode first of all turn off your device and then press volume down plus home button plus power button at the same time for some seconds you will get a screen saying uh, you will get a screen with warning saying that uh, option custom uh, custom rooms can harm your device after that just uh, press volume up key to enter download mode after downloading into download mode after putting your device into downloading mode connect your device with a PA cable with your PC okay now you can see here on COM1 on COM1 port my device is showing here after putting it into download mode again showing okay after that when your device is detected uh, according to your model download and select one of these files in odin on ap button ap button okay i'm gonna go for here for this one z320 a after that when it shows here just click on start okay when your flash is completed successfully you will get a green sign here saying pass after that your device will be reboot I will reboot or you will need to reboot it after that power on your device and then your ADB will be enabled USB debugging mode will be enabled on your device now we will need to do it remove FIP with this tool now power on your device and then leave the device where you need to enter the Google account information where you need to log in with your old gmail account leave the leave a device at that point at that screen and then install this okay, now just go with it okay, now here is the shortcut here okay now run this tool to go log from here for more detail now come to device tab now when your device gets power up and then you, you have the screen where you need to enter your gmail connect your device with the cable and then your device will get detected here just wait If you need to allow if you if uh, your device prompts you to allow just 
all your uh, all of it click on all of okay now my device is online here you can see device online okay one of this cable is a little loose now okay now again my device is online you can see here green signal now go to frp tab and select method one and click on remove frp don't use method two this is this method is not for the android versions so don't you use this else you will break your device select method one and then remove frp after some seconds when the device is, when the tool is done it will say that frp is done frp is gone and then your device will reboot just wait some seconds okay here you can see frp done FRP done, send in reward message. Okay, now, Hazir! Now, your FRP is gone. When your device is, gets powered on, your Google account will be instantly gone. Thanks for watching. Like this video and subscribe my channel if this works for you. If this worked for you. And if it didn't, comment your problem. If you face any issue, comment that. I will surely help you. Have a good day.